My next guest believes that life is like a marathon, so he offers 26.2 tips to help you run your best life. Mike Motti is a motivational speaker and author of the book, Marathon Fit to Lead. Mike, welcome to Outlook Houston. Thank you very much. And you have good reason for associating life with a marathon, because that's what you do, is a marathon. Absolutely. And so you were able to take in this book and really put down and do some comparisons between what's going on in life and sort of how you have to handle a marathon. Yes. Basically, Yo Yolanda, I view life as a marathon in that it's 10% the events that happen, the stuff of life, whether that's a difficult person, a challenging event, the loss of a job, the loss of a career or something that happens, and it's 90% how you respond to that. Just like in a marathon, when you hit the wall at 20 miles, you get knocked down. The key thing is in a marathon, you get back up and you keep moving forward. One of the points that you make in the book is that you always have to put yourself first. For a lot of people, that can Absolutely. be difficult when you're caring for an aging parent, when you've Absolutely. got a lot going on in your life, but why is it so important? I equate it to every time I hear the flight attendant on the aircraft say, when the oxygen mask drops down, put it on yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be there for your kids, for your loved ones, in my case, for my grandkids also. So you've got to put in that time to make sure you're, you're mentally focused forward on your marathon because you, you can only control what's, what's in front of you. Take action today to make it a better future. Uh, make sure you're emotionally challenged and aware of what sets you off, what makes you happy, mad, glad, or sad, as Lou Holtz once taught me at the University of Arkansas years ago. And then be physically energized so you can take on the challenges that await you. So you take care of yourself first, and then you're able to help and serve others. And you also say that you have to develop a plan, and we've heard that before. And there were people who will say, I tried it, it didn't work. Right. I tried it and it didn't work. And there are going to be failures. There are, going, there are going to be times when it doesn't go and you've just got to keep, try something else. The key is, if we stopped with the first attempt, yeah. we'd, never, we'd never succeed. So uh, you, never, you never make the shot you don't take, so you just keep shooting. My dad was a basketball coach, and I, I did a lot of that. But the key is that you just keep moving forward, make it the next attempt. Learn from your failures, from the attempts that didn't go in, that didn't work out, and keep moving forward. What made you write the book? Well, I finished up my, uh, what I believe is my final turnaround here in Houston with a company uh, two years ago. I'd always wanted to speak ever since I heard Lou Holtz, when I was in graduate school back in 1977, I was still a military officer, and I wanted to get the message out uh, with stories of how I'd, I'd experienced tens of thousands of employees and people in my marathon and how they had helped me. So I put it into what we call transformational leadership ideas or techniques to take what we know and, and put it into action. So I wanted to, I wanted to put in writing uh, the secrets, the techniques that had helped me along my marathon and get that out as I went around the country speaking. With all these techniques that you have listed in the book, which, what technique do you consider to be most important or, or crucial to really transforming your life? Well, I think there are four major points to marathon fit to lead with the, with, which the 26.2 techniques are based on, and that is being mentally focused forward on where you're going. We can't, take, we can't do anything about March 1st, 2011. That was yesterday. We can take action today to make tomorrow better. Um, the next phase is be emotionally connected. Be aware of, of what your hot buttons are. Uh, how you, can, you might have a tendency to overreact and be aware of you and, and what sets us off, what, makes, what puts us in our comfort zone where we're, where we're on our A game, as some people say. Thirdly, be physically energized. That's another precept. Start with yourself 20 minutes a day, go for a walk, and lastly, have a real purpose. Just like your previous guest, uh, the woman's group that, that helps out 
disadvantaged ladies. Just a wonderful purpose, and mine is to serve others and help people in this country be marathon fit going forward. All right. Well, Mike, thank you very much. And thank again, you. the book is called Marathon Fit to Lead, and you can learn more about the author by visiting his website at MarathonCEO.com. When we come back, 30 years and $300,000 in scholarships, how fashion is helping Houston area students move forward.